Hey, yo, what is up, FPG fam? Further here, and welcome back to another Aether Gazer video. Today, I wanted to go ahead and showcase Jin Wu once again because I went ahead and made some changes, completed some things, and thought I would showcase my Jin Wu with Ling Wong and Hera once again in that nightmare mode and show that Ling Wong can indeed stay alive throughout the entirety of the fight. And so I wanted to go ahead and showcase that for you guys once again. So I do hope you enjoyed today's video. I do hope you get some value from it. Let's go ahead and hop in. Before we do, really quickly though, I did want to mention we are so very close to 40k. So very close. If you want to help us hit that goal and join the FPG fam, I would love to have you stick around and uh, see if we can hit 40k here relatively soon. Maybe by the end of the month, right? That would be great. Now, the first thing that I did want to go ahead and mention going over my Jinwoo build is that she's still double S. Unfortunately, I'm four shards away from getting her to triple S. The issue that I'm running into is with the shards. Now, if we go over to the reoccurring dream, this is the only place where I can get more shards because I have exhausted all other options. As you can see, I can get four more here, but it takes 20 of that material where that comes into a problem, where that comes into a problem. I don't think that's a word or a saying. <laughs> the problem that I'm having is that I can only get four more here for this week, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to wait till next week. It pains me to say that so much so that I almost went into the scan and did some more pulls to see if I got lucky. But I have to show some restraint. I have to save for my man Meng Zheng for my Sasuke. So I have to wait until next week to showcase her at Triple S. But if we go over to the sigils, as you can see, I finally completed my sigil set. Got them all reconstructed. Skill effects are still the same though, unfortunately. Pains me to say that as well. I tried to min-max a little bit. Didn't get any more crit damage. It is what it is. So for the most part, everything's the same, but the sigils are maxed out. Now moving on to the warps. This is a mistake that I made. You guys corrected me kindly uh, in the comments of my last video. I had the force field three. Now logically in my brain, when I see force field three, I'm thinking it's for the full three red aether codes. For some reason, I don't know why my brain does that. I go with the full red aether code just in case you're unaware. So when I see Telepathize 3, I'm thinking that's the full three. I get it confused all the time, but you guys kindly reminded me that it's actually one if you're going with the full code path, which, you know, it, it is what it is once again. But I corrected that. Everything else remains the same, and I got them om almost fully maxed out. Uh, as you can see, I just need to finish this one off here. But resources so my Jin Wu is for the most part relatively the same uh, just a little more decent stats and the sigils max out as you can see we're closer to 26k on the CP we're a little over 7,000 on the attack now uh, and then the stats remain the same here for the split so I do want to go ahead and showcase her with Ling Wong with Hera and do the same run now the other thing that i did want to quickly touch on as well i was contemplating whether whether i was going to speak on this or not but i thought i would just go ahead and touch on it in this video um yesterday when i was just lying around hanging out uh somebody posted in the ether gazer official discord a video and it was in regards to my prior video with Jin Wu and my bad choice of words that i decided to use which admittedly i'll admit transparency it was a poor choice of words and maybe i should have chose different words to say but rather than trying to remember what i stated i just thought i would go ahead and show the clip of the content creator that went ahead and stated this so it's darian lol massive shout out to you darian another fellow ether gazer content creator as well as i think they do some content on some other games um shout out to them though we'll go ahead and see this clip and then i'll clarify what i was stating and we'll go over a few other things also they said by the way respect to fpg massive respect to you as well my friend he's the one of the few ag content creators big thanks to him to support the game with videos i do truly appreciate that and i think the reason why i'm doing this is because i want to show that we can have an active a positive discourse right it, it doesn't have to be a negative thing that we're talking about but when i feel as if i need to clarify something i'm going to go ahead and clarify especially if it's a mistake that i made personally so let's go ahead and we'll see this clip and once again i'll, I'll go ahead and clarify my points here make new video about jin Wu. look at this epic title um discover this epic jin Wu build and unleash her full power uh -huh. <laughs> i don't know what he did discovered but so it's not something that i discovered right what i'm saying is discover this epic jinwoo build as in you the viewer just in case you were wondering how to build jinwoo what's some of the most optimal ways to build her uh this is me showing you for you to discover right as a video i put out for you to discover this build that i think is pretty epic not that i found something that nobody else has seen before <laughs> that's but, the first uh, part look, what did he say about our beloved wife jinwoo 
Beloved waifu Jinwoo. Okay. ...to where you want them to be because you're running out of resources and whatnot. But I had to get my Ling Wong up to snuff in order to showcase my Jinwoo because they are too synergistic that you can't have one without the other. It... He think you can't have one without the other. So that was the mistake that I made. I said you can't have Ling Wong without Jin Wu and vice versa, right? Is is essentially what I was saying. But if you saw, they paused the video short. I'll let him continue what he's saying, but he paused the video short. Hold on. So he's saying our oh, Jin Wu is so bad that she needs to be played with T Zero support. Oh, Wait a second. Is that what I said though? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the logical leap that he makes that baffles me, right? Just because, and once again, he paused the video short. I'm going to show the entire clip here right after this so you guys get the full context. But he paused the video short and didn't show what I said after that. But just because I said Ling Wong, you can't play Jin Wu without Ling Wong and vice versa, which once again was a bad choice of words on my behalf. I do apologize about that. I got to make sure to choose my words very carefully uh, because some people will take what I say very literally and then make logical leaps such as this. Uh, so what I was stating is that, yeah, this that was a bad choice of words. But then that doesn't mean by any stretch of the imagination that I think Jin Wu is automatically bad because of that reason. I have touted Jin Wu as being the best, if not one of the best DPSs in the game. So that goes without question that obviously if you use her solo... She's going to perform beautifully. You don't have to have Ling Wong. What I was trying to state is that having Ling Wong with Jin Wu is paramount and something that you would want to do in order to optimally showcase Jin Wu in her best scenario in the best light, right? That's what I was trying to state, that you would want to pair the two together and you would hardly ever want to not have them together. But then that doesn't mean that Jin Wu cannot be without Ling Wong. And then that automatically makes her bad if she's not with Ling Wong. Because if she's one of the best DPSs in the game, that cannot be a possibility. She can obviously solo in many scenarios. It's very similar to like a Thor and Osiris situation. You would want to have Osiris with Thor and Thor with Osiris to be able to showcase them both in their best light in the most advantageous position and the best scenario. But then that doesn't mean if Thor's without Osiris, she's bad. Obviously, I showcase her soloing. So that's what I was trying to state. But once again, it was a bad choice of words saying can't, right? Otherwise, she is not good. When did I say she was not good? <laughs> I never said that once. You will not find a clip of me saying Jin Woo's bad. You will not find a video of me saying Jin Woo's bad. So you cannot make that logical leap of me saying that Ling Wong and Jin Woo, they can't be without each other, then meaning that they're bad. That's a logical leap that you made. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm going to prove he's wrong. And you you do. You do a great job, by the way. You you did a phenomenal job with your gameplay. Um, but in that very same gameplay that you pair with your gameplay, my Jin Wu is solo for the majority of that gameplay. <laughs> so <laughs> it just like it's it disproves your point right there. But let me go ahead and show you the full clip and give you full context. Right. OK, so this is my video. Discover this epic Jin Wu build. This is my video. Let me give you the full context of what I stated. Because like I said, he cut that video short. Two modifiers at the same time. In this case, Jin Wu and Ling Wang. It takes longer to get one of them online to where you want them to be. Because you're running out of resources and whatnot. But I had to get my Ling Wang up to snuff. In order to showcase my Jin Wu. Because they are too synergistic. That you can't have one without the other. That was a mistake I made. I shouldn't have said that. You can't have one without the other. Once again... What I was really stating is that you wouldn't want to have one without the other in the most preferable, optimal situation. You would want to have them paired together. But me saying can't was a bad choice of words. I should have said you would not want to, right? If you want to showcase Jin Wu properly, you have to have... But that's where that's where he stopped the video, right? Uh, let me go ahead and go back. That's where he stopped it. To snuff in order to Very conveniently. Like because they are too synergistic that you can't have one without the other. So he stops it right there without this follow-up part in context. Here we go. If you want to showcase Jin Wu properly, you have to have Ling Wang at least to a competent level in order to properly showcase Jin Wu. Hope okay, does that make sense? That doesn't mean that I think Jin Wu's bad. And I go on to clarify, right? He, he pauses it short without 
showing the part where I clarified what I'm stating. So if he would have just let the video go a little bit further, he would have understood that me saying can't, once again, was a bad choice of words, but that's not what I meant, is that then Jin Wu's bad without Ling Wong. What I'm stating is that you would want to have Jin Wu with Ling Wong in order for Jin Wu to perform at the best, highest potential that she can. She has a potential bar. To fill that potential bar out, you would want to have Ling Wong with her. That's what I was stating, essentially, in order to showcase her properly. Anyways, <laughs> that is that is me clarifying that. Let's go ahead and get back into the video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for all the support. I do truly appreciate it. If you enjoy the content that we're doing here on Aether Gazer, go ahead and consider becoming a member, joining the FBG fam in a much larger way. Uh, and that's greatly appreciated. You get a bunch of perks um, like emotes and access to videos sooner rather than later. Thank you guys so much once again. I do truly appreciate it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. My name is Cody. You call me further. I'll see you all next one. Bye, guys.